Hello fellow YouTubers, this video will be about the unique, uncommon, or rare articulations found in Hans Zimmer strings. So the first articulation that we'll look at is consordino. It's uh, the long consordino soft. So here we go. So the next articulation we'll look at is solpont. So it's called long super solpont. And then we have flotando, super long flotando. Now what makes this unique is you have 60 violins and uh, flotando comes out well in this patch. So another unique patch is the soft collegno. Which you can probably imitate with other libraries. But going to the next row of articulations, we have special effects. But one articulation that's totally unique is the Caligno Trotto, which sounds like this. Now, as far as the effects are concerned, other libraries do have effects, but remember these are with 60 violins, so it gives you a different breadth. So we have descending glisses here. And then here we have additional effects.
So as you can tell, they're somewhat based on the chromatic scale here as we go up. Now we're in a different descending or ascending chromatically. Different intervals, but ascending chromatically. Now we have another interval descending chromatically. And we go up. Ascending chromatically. different techniques being used. And then when we get into the 20 violins in the center position, we have many of the same articulations that are uncommon or unique. And by the way, in each of these demos, I'm using the close and the tree mics. Another unique thing about the Hans Zimmer strings is the number of mic positions. As you can see, as I click, we have like three screens. They're not all active for each group of violins. The 60 has the most active number of mics possible. The articulations that we have here are different. We have some different ones. Now tremolo is not really unique or uncommon, but we are doing 20 violins and some other libraries could probably come co close to that. But here's a sort of a rare one. This is tremolo con sordino. And here is an even more rare one, or unique, harmonic tremolo. And then we have to go quite a ways up. And then we have strum pizzicato, which is fairly uncommon. Most libraries have pizzicato, but not strummed. And then we also have the Consordino, Long Consordino. And here's one that the 60 violins didn't have long harmonics. This articulation, long harmonics, is not rare, but it is not common, let's say. And then Salpant Long. Again, not uncommon, but not in most string libraries. Saltasto, again, uncommon in the sense that we're using 20 violins. Then they have a super long flotondo. Super long sol pont. Collegno trotto again. Bring the line up. This is unique. And then we have the tremolo which is a fairly common technique in most string libraries. Tremolo con sordino, not as common.
and then tremolo, harmonic tremolo, uncommon. Then the strum pizzicato again with 20 violins. Collegno is fairly, fairly common articulation. And then we go to the 20 violins. And if we look at the articulations, we have the unusual ones. We, we've already looked at long car, concertino. Here's the saltasto. which is not a common articulation. And then you have your flotando, which we've looked at, your solpon, which we've looked at, and uh, collegno, not uncommon. And then we have the violins in the right-hand position. And if you look at your, you've got your long concertino again, your long harmonics. We've looked at the long super flotando and the long super salpon, and we've looked at this as well. Here you have now. This is different here in the uh, in the right hand side. You have harmonic tremolo, but it's in waves. So this is unique. Okay. And then if we go on, we have a tremolo concertino, which we've seen, harmonic tremolo, which we've seen, strum pizzicato, we've seen, collegno is not uncommon, Bartok pits isn't. And then you have your effects. So glissing up. Glissing down. So I wouldn't say these are unique, but they are uncommon. And then we have the effects two. And again, we're getting that chromatic. It almost sounds like these could be in waves. So a lot of variation. Sending glisses. So various pizzicato special effects.
So that's the violin's right hand side. And then if we look at the uh, violas in the center, we have two viola patches, center and wide. So again, we're looking for uncommon or unique articulations. There's your close, your tree mics. So again, long court, consordino is uh, uncommon, let's say. Whoops. There we go. And on these, in this comparison, or not comparison, but in these expositions, notice that the reverb is turned all the way down here. So we're just using the reverb, natural reverb in the room. Super long flotando. Then you have your co legno trotto again, unique articulation, twenty violas. Drum pizzicato. And then uh, we do have the special effects. And for the violas, we just have this one page of effects. So, or the one page of articulations. So glissing up with violas. Glissing down. So a variety of techniques on the glisses. Auto effects. Random pits. So that's the center violas. Here's the wide violas. So we have your standard articulations. We have the long concertino. Now here we have long harmonics, and this would be in violas. Super long flotando. Super long sulpon.
tremolo, which, which is common, but here is the uncommon one, almost rare. And then we have a few more articulations. Here's the unique one, tremolo, harmonic, and waves. And you have short spiccato, spiccato is a common, collegno, barely common, Bartok Pitt's common. So then we have the 60 cellos. So here we have the 60 cellos, and the first uncommon or unique articulation would be the, the soft consardino longs. So I would say these are unique because you have 60, which gives you a more tranquil blend. If you have a smaller cello section playing soft, concertino, it's not going to be as filling of the room, for example. So a very smooth concertino. Then you have the long Super Salpant. Flotando Long, so unique in the sense that we have so many people playing Flotando. Then you have Collegno Trotto. Again, this is a unique. Impossible because of the large number of players. Possible in the sense of a full sound. Then you have Trimlo Concerto, Concertino Pont with waves, so definitely unique. And then on the next page, we have Bartok Pitts, not uncommon, uh, soft collegno, which I would say is uncommon because of the number of players. And then here you have your special effects. Your pits effects, Glissandos, and then we go into the twenty cellos. And we have a salt pont again, the, the long super salt pont. The super long flotando, which we've seen, long harmonics.
which are not unique but uncommon. And here you have unique tremolo concertino pont waves. And then the 20 cellos left hand side. Then we have, we've seen for the uncommon and rare, long concertino, long harmonics, Let's just of those briefly. Long salpant, we've seen, long super salpant, okay. There's your long soul pot. Uncommon, but not unique. Here's your long super soul pot. And then your long super flotando. And here we see tremolo, not uncommon or rare, but. And here we have concertino tremolo, this is uncommon. And then the rest are common short pits, Bartok pits, collegno. So moving on to the right hand side. We have your legato long, common, long crown sordino we've seen, long harmonics we've seen, super long pont we've seen, super long flotando we've seen, collegno trotto. Okay, so here you have that in the cello's right hand side. So unique. And another Consordino Tremolo. Salpon Tremolo. Here's Tremolo Consordino Salpon again. Unique. And here is very I mean, one of a kind, tremolo, concertino, pont, and waves. So it's played in different sections of the 20 celloists, and then they just sort of rotate. And here you have tremolo harmonic waves. Again, unique. And you have your special effects. This is up. Different kinds. This is down. And then we move into the cello galleries. And so you have long concertina we've heard, long salpant we've heard, long super flotanda we've heard, and cellos, uh, tremolo we've heard, pits, collegno, bartok pits are common articulations. So that's it there. And then 24 basses. Again, close in tree mics. We've got. Um, we got a long common, long harmonics, less common. Especially for 24 basses. Long salpant on the basses.
long super salt pond. So very soft. Super long saltasso, unique for bases. You could almost bring the volume up on this one. Very unique sound. And then you have flotando, super long flotando. Collegno Trotto, unique. And remember, we only have two mic positions, so it is quiet, but if we start adding more mics, like here's Zambia. You start to hear the volume increase. You know it's a very low volume articulation. So that's what's nice about having all the different mic positions. You can bring up low articulations naturally without raising the dB levels. So that concludes this look at the special, uncommon, rare, or unique articulations of the Han Zimmer strings. This is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to subscribe and be notified of upcoming videos, then please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music. Mm -hmm.